I don't know about you, but it seems like every day I'm hearing about a new cryptocurrency. You've got this coin, that coin, the other coin. I mean, it can all get pretty confusing. But when it's all said and done, there are really only two main players in the crypto market, at least for the time being, Bitcoin and Ethereum or Ether. Together, the total value of these cryptos is worth more than all the other cryptocurrencies combined. But Bitcoin and Ether are not the same. Let's take a look at the differences and why they matter. This is the cryptocurrency that started it all. What made Bitcoin so unique was that it was decentralized and anonymous. Meaning, instead of being controlled by, you know, the Federal Reserve or any other government for that matter, it's controlled by its users via blockchain technology. Something that holds true for all cryptos. Simply put, Bitcoin pioneered the whole digital currency and blockchain revolution. And it's also the most expensive one to buy into. So how does blockchain technology work? Well, in a nutshell, it works by grouping together information known as blocks. It then adds these blocks to the public ledger known as the blockchain. Since the blockchain is decentralized, these transactions are processed by computers all around the world. And a record of all transactions and transfers can be reviewed by anyone, which is pretty cool. While Ether also uses blockchain technology just like Bitcoin, it has its own platform. Think of it as a difference between like iOS and Android, right? Both are cell phones, but they have completely separate operating systems. Ether uses the Ethereum platform, which uses blockchain, but it also has some extra features in there. For example, the Ethereum platform supports multiple utilities like the development of applications and programs. And it powers other cryptocurrencies, including its own. As investments, all cryptocurrencies are risky. So make sure you do a deep dive before you take the plunge, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Once you really understand what you're getting yourself into, you can always purchase crypto through an online exchange like Binance or Coinbase. Some investment brokerages like Robinhood, Cash App, and PayPal also allow limited buying and selling of Bitcoin and Ether. The short answer is no. Because you're not borrowing or repaying it, it's not a credit thing, so it doesn't go on your credit file. But if you're using crypto to make money to pay off your debts, it's a different story. Cryptocurrencies are volatile. They're like a financial roller coaster. But if you're not careful, you could get stuck upside down with all your cash falling out of your pockets. Then again, if you sell at the right time, investing in crypto might be a lucrative ride worth taking. And on that note, I hope this video helped bring some clarity to your cryptocurrency quest. And if it did, please like, subscribe, share, give it a thumbs up, all the things, and I'll catch you next time on Experian Financial Files.